If you've ever scribbled a few lines on a piece of paper or plucked a few chords from a guitar, you know how important artistic expression is. The arts are an outlet for creativity that goes way beyond simple recreation. It's a way to express truth and give meaning to everyday life for everyone in the world. We understand this in O'Fallon, and the arts are truly alive in our community. Here on Energy, we've always given you the scoop on the artistic endeavors happening around our hometown. And today we're chatting with creative people like Darren Granis, cultural arts coordinator for the city, about why the arts matter and what's been going on around O'Fallon. Well, here in O'Fallon, we support the arts because we think it's really important to have a diverse community. Um, so the arts bring in anything, anybody from, uh, you know, from the youth and kids to college students to seniors, not only as participants, but as instructors. Uh, a lot of recreation centers and places, other communities don't offer the arts as a component. And uh, that's, I think, what makes O'Fallon so different and unique in this area. Chop them in here. In the world of the arts, creating something new and fresh is an ideal strived for by millions of artists. And our regular exhibits at the Cultural Arts Gallery, located within the Renaud Spirit Center, exemplify this goal. Each exhibit is a fresh look at the world of contemporary art, with incredibly diverse artists showing off their latest work. One of our most recent displays showcased the detailed oil paintings from famed Hungarian artist Tibor Tornay and visitors to the Cultural Arts Gallery marveled at his intricate brushstrokes and compositions. Contrast that to local artist Paul Calloway's inventive use of toy cameras, like the Holga, and how he creates art from lo-fi optics. And our gallery has also been home to the Blank Canvas Studios, a nonprofit organization that allows developmentally disabled St. Charles County residents the chance to express themselves through their own art. There's never been a shortage of new creative work to see at our gallery, and our latest exhibit is no different as local artist Jim Kenning takes his work and your perspective to brand new depths. This time what I decided to do was do some uh, artwork in underwater Missouri and some of the water shots that I have and uh, I did put one from Colorado in there, the lake uh, scene, but the ones that I uh, did that a lot of people are kind of stunned at is the tree underwater, that's Table Rock Lake. It's very majestic and surreal when you're down there and um, the austerity of you know this underwater forest is just amazing. Looking for great performances? O'Fallon has a proud tradition of live theater and our O'Fallon Theater Works shows are always a must-see event. Our actors have a flair for the dramatic and unforgettable shows like Steel Magnolia showcase our community's acting chops. Yes, you are. Looking for something a little more broad? We've put on plenty of outrageous comedies, like a Dickens Christmas Carol, complete with pratfalls and witty, if ridiculous, dialogue. And for our younger actors, musicals and shows like Annie Jr. are a great way to see up-and-coming talent up close in heartwarming, entertaining shows. With a focus on family-friendly theater open to everyone in the community, the O'Fallon Theater Works truly allows anyone to experience the magic of the arts. And our latest show, Aladdin Jr., is our biggest production yet. This play is exciting because this is only the second time in O'Fallon's theater history that there's been a children's musical. We have a much larger cast, we have a much diverse cast in terms of their ages, and we have a lot of different abilities with the kids. We have dancers, we have gymnasts, we have singers, we have kids who are good with lines and acting, and so we kind of melded all of them together to put on this production. But there's more to an O'Fallon Theater Works production than just the actors on a stage. It pulls together lots of people with a multitude of talents. Crafters construct the backdrops, artists decorate the set, and sewers piece together the costumes. These people are also finding a way to express themselves, and the community effort results in a great production. Families are doing this together, moms and dads. Moms are crafting, dads are working on the set. Children are up on stage singing and dancing. It's, that's just what's so amazing about community theater. It's there for everyone. Everyone has a place. And while we're talking about the performing arts, the O'Fallon Theater Camp and Workshop just wrapped up another stellar session. The camp helps children explore their natural creativity, and the participants are charged with creating an original storyline building the sets and costumes, and performing their play at an afternoon matinee for family and friends. From start to finish, these young thespians have their hands in every aspect of their play, 
learning first-hand knowledge of how a performance comes together. I finally finished my body position. I have just enough to pour. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun because it's kids at their best. They're encouraged to be creative and to use their imagination from writing the play to developing a character. They learn great public speaking skills. They build their confidence up to being in front of people. And also they learn to trust who they are and their instincts. And we have a lot of fun with the theater games. It's really learning at its best. Having the ability to express yourself artistically is something many artists can't resist. It's rewarding to simply have an audience for your work, be it painting or photography or theater. And O'Fallon is committed to maintaining and growing these opportunities. Well, I get a kick out of people looking at my stuff. I just love it. You know, somebody will be there and they'll stare and they, they get involved in the picture. It draws them in. And anytime you have a artwork, you love it being displayed and you love people getting enjoyment out of it. I mean, there are lots of different opportunities on the other side of the river. Um, Kirkwood has a great theater group, but on this side in St. Charles, there are not that many opportunities for families to be united, and it's just so exciting to be able to do that and be a part of that, and I just feel so privileged. Art No Fallon is a year-long endeavor with plenty of opportunities still ahead. No matter how you'd care to express yourself, O'Fallon has a workshop, a class, or a program that can help. Grab your rec guide or check it out online and look for the cultural arts section inside. You'll find a host of information about what's still ahead. Got a lot of stuff going on uh, this time of year. We're just coming off theater camp. Theater camp is evolving into our theater classes, which are going to be running from September uh, through December. And then um, we've also got art and design for seniors, which is also going to be starting in September. Um, of course, our exhibits are going on. Mike Phelps is going to be here starting in September as well. And then we've got another play coming up at the end of October called Please Remain Calm. It's a zombie play, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's written and directed by a local resident here in O'Fallon by the name of Carol Lennon. So a lot of stuff going on this fall.